680 years after the birth of Jesus Christ, a small caravan consisting of the grandchildren of the Prophet of Islam left the city of Medina in Saudi Arabia for the city of Kufa in modern Iraq. In the middle of their journey in a desert called Karbala, they came face to face with an army sent by the Umayyad Caliphate. An unfair war unfolded and all the men of the caravan were killed. Their women and children were taken as prisoners. After the incident of Ashura, Umar ibn Sa'd buried his dead and made the al al bait of Imam Hussein prisoners of war and mounted them on camels and took them to Kufa. Umar ibn Sa'd's soldiers escorted the women of the al al bait through the battlefield where the bodies of the martyrs lay. They were weeping and screaming as well as beating their faces. It is narrated from Qarid ibn Qais that when Hazrat Zainab passed by her brother's body, she wept and said, O Muhammad, the angels of heaven send blessings and peace upon you, but Hussein is in the desert whose body is stained with blood, and his limbs are separated. O Muhammad, your daughters are captives, and their slain descendants are being touched by the wind. When the caravan of the captives of Karbala entered Kufa, people gathered to watch, as if it was a show or a spectacle, the women of Kufa were weeping over them. A man named Kuzlam ibn Sadr, said, At that time I saw Ali ibn Husayn with shackles around his neck and hands. Umar bin Sa'd's soldiers took them through the streets of Kufa, and brought them to the court of Obaidullah bin Ziyad. There was a heated discussion between Hazrat Zainab and Obaidullah, and Obaidullah ordered the killing of Imam Sajjad. But after Hazrat Zainab replied to his threat in a sharp tone, Obaidullah was forced to withdraw his order. For more authentic Islamic videos, subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Like this video and leave a comment. Till the next video, Khuda Nigehdar.